Okay, so this is going to be a quick video on how to install the NAROIP mod, otherwise known as NAROIP, as well as the VC3 mod that we, the community for Nier Automata, have made for speedrunning. So the first thing that we want to pull up is the um, GitHub page for the uh, NAROIP mod. We want to go to, to downloads, and we want the uh, X input file. This I'm going to save to the desktop in uh, near Automata mods folder. Let's put this in. Let's put it in here. So once that's downloaded, I want to go and find that file, which is on my desktop. So I want to copy this file, and where I want to put this file is in the uh, Steam directory for the uh, Nier Automata exe file. In this case, this is on my uh, M.2 SSD in Steam library, Steam apps, common, and Nier Automata. So here we have the Nier Automata exe, and I'm just going to paste the X input uh, DLL in here. Next is to launch Nier Automata. You can do this either by double clicking the EXE or you could go through Steam like I have and the first thing you will see is that there is the Nier Automata debug console. This will indicate that the uh, the NARIP mod is active and it's loaded so the game will start up normally. In this case, I have my game as 1600 by 900 windowed. And off the bat, you immediately see VC3 mod 1.5 is installed. There it is bouncing around on the screen as it, the game loads. We're just going to save uh, or load one of my save files and jump right into the game. So in the top left corner, you'll see a on-screen display for NAROIP with a uh, unique code, and in red text it says disconnected. We're going to change that. So, to bring up the GUI for the NARIP mod, we're going to pause the game. You cannot do this when you have control of the character. You can only do this either during loading screens or when the game's paused. I'm just going to jump and hit pause. And you can see my mouse here. The default button to open the uh, the NARIP GUI is page up. If it isn't already on your screen, then page up is to open and close this uh, GUI here. Obviously, this mod is made by uh, Wolf of Wolf, along with the help of Icefire here, along with the credits for each of them. So here on the first page for general, we have modifications. You can either enable or disable NARIP. That will allow you to still open this menu, but it will disable the functionality here. You can see in the top left of the of uh, my screen here. You can see that it's uh, disconnected. You can also individually enable VC3 mod. This is how you enable the VC3 mod when you want to run with that particular mod. In this case, we're gonna have both of these active just so we can see everything in here. In NAROIP, I'm going to uh, just expand all of these. This is the bread and butter for the NAROIP uh, mod. So if I want to connect to the uh, Nier Automata speedrunning uh, public server, we can just type in a username and we can go to the fully qualified domain name for uh, the server, which is race.nearspeedrun.com. So race.nearspeedrun.com, or you could type in the IP. Uh, the IP address of this particular server. I find it a lot easier to remember race.nearspeedrun.com. And once you do that, you click connect. So in the top left here, it says that the client, you, are connected. 
and you can see how many other clients are connected to the server at the moment. Here, it's only me, but with more people that are using this, you may see other people connected. So in the settings here, you can see a bunch of customization options that we have. So you can customize the username. So you can have a anonymized username, say if there's a, if there's a really uh, profane name of a user that's connected to the server, you can anonymize those names. Uh, you could change the color of the usernames as they display on screen. The icon segments changes what the icon looks like of other players. If I enable my own icon, we can see how that changes here. The minimum icon segments is three, and I believe this goes up to infinity, but I wouldn't really bother to go that high. Four is enough. Icon distance scale, this changes at which point the icon uh, changes size, depending on how far away you are from another player. Likewise with icon min size, that changes the minimum size of each player icon, the max icon size when a player is close to you, the icon max range shows how far away a given player is away from you, so if you don't want to see people on the other side of the map from you, then you can set this uh, option a little lower, or if you want to see everybody on the map, then you can set this uh, a little higher, or you can leave it a default. I like leaving it a default. The same thing with the username max range, there's an individual toggle for each of these. So with the overlay, you can position very slowly here the uh, the on-screen display for Naroy, but unfortunately we don't have that level of control for VC3 mod, but we do have that control for the Naroy overlay, so I just like leaving it under here. In the debug dropdown, there's not very much that you as the user need to use here, but you can see other uh, usernames of other, uh, other clients. You can either choose to enable or disable your own icon visible to you, but your client will still transmit your position to the server and anyone else connected to that server. Icon lerping, this is a specific feature that allows for a little bit of smoother motion between uh, updates for each individual client, so it looks a little more seamless as people move around on your screen. I like leaving it a little, I, I like leaving it disabled just because it, it looks a little better with it. Sometimes it can cause lag with uh, where the other players are on screen. In other, there's a slider here for how fast the scroll speed is on the text. I like leaving it at 500% because I like seeing Wolf zoom by. In the config tab here, you have the option of uh, rebinding the, uh, the key to open the Naroip uh, uh, GUI here, so by default this is, as I said, the page up button, but you can choose to re remap this to whichever key. Say if I want to uh, have the insert key as the button to open it, I'm just going to hover my mouse here and hold for three seconds. So I'm holding the insert key, and until the timer uh, expires here, notice how it says hover cursor below and hold key for it said three seconds, but now zero seconds. So now when I let go of the insert key, I can press the insert and it opens and closes this menu. You can also choose to save or load a uh, Naroip INI file if I choose to save it. So the Naroip INI file goes into the same directory as uh, the Nier Automata EXE file. We have the naripe.ini file and the naripe.log file. In order to enable or disable each of these mods, you can have both running, you can have one enabled, the other disabled, whichever that you want. 
The only requirement is that in order to run with those mods, you need to have the the launcher, quote unquote, uh, active here. So I can run without enabling Naroip and without enabling VC3 mod, and nothing would be injected into the game. What this launcher enables is what this launcher enables is the option to either load only Naroip or only Visu 3 mod when you decide to run the game. So one very quick note here with VC3 mod is the logging file that it generates when it is enabled is located at a specific uh, directory. So here if I have um, VC3 mod disabled and I want to enable it here. I'll close this menu and when I go into my file explorer here I can go to my uh, on my Windows folder my users username what I want is app data I want roaming and automata mod. This uh, log file is the uh, VC3 mod log file that shows when the log file is, or when the modification is active, when it's ready and waiting for the change conditions. That includes the change conditions for the mackerel mod as well as the vc3 mod of adding materials or fish to your inventory you close out of uh near automata when i do that the uh, debug console here will linger for a little while that's normal it will take its time to close out of the game so in order to uninstall both Naroip and VC3 mod, all you need to do is just delete the X input uh, one underscore three DLL here, as well as to get rid of all other traces of Naroip, then you can delete the naroip.log file and the naroip.ina file. And there we go. To show that Naroip and VC3 mod can function with far installed, let's quickly do that. If I want to install a specific version of far, we can go into here. I have .11, .14, and .23 installed. Let's go with .14. We're going to copy all and go into my automata folder. I have a shortcut here. Let's paste that in here. And let's also paste the Naroip uh, X input file in here. So let's go and launch near Automata. This is good. So we know that the Naroip mod is uh, loaded and it's launching the game. Like I said before, if you don't see that. Uh, both mods or even one mod is only working and the other mod is not working, then try relaunching the game um, to try and fix it. Though, if it still happens, then try uninstalling FAR or uninstalling Naroip and trying to launch one without the other. So here we have perfect control over uh, FAR. We can open this, change our settings. It is worth mentioning that you may experience a uh, rumble in your controller. You can either choose to enable or disable that functionality in Steam or in, um, in FAR itself. So if I want to open up Naroip at the same time, here we are. You may see more lines like this uh, show in the debug console here. This is only for the rendering of the text and images of uh, other players on your screen. There's nothing to worry about here. The debug console will also show when you are connected or disconnected from a Naroip server, as well as when Naroip is trying to reconnect to a server, either because of network outage or because of any other factor.
And that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully that is clear to everyone. And we have some more projects lined up for this mod. Keep an eye on Wolf's uh, GitHub page for more uh, things related to Narripe as well as VC3 mod. Thank you.